G'day folks, well, if it's tonight's equipment autopsy we have a 80s vintage Honeywell alarm controls panel. Uh, seems to be multi-zone door alarms, it's got a day-night function, mains, battery voltage and zone 5's 24 hour alarm so should be fairly interesting. Um, it's locked, I haven't tried to pry it open, I'm just going to get a cordless drill and drill out these hinge rivets and hopefully it'll just come apart. Uh, is it HIC asset date 87, so it's fairly old, 1987. Um, HIC, I'm pretty sure that's uh, what we now call Medicare, it's our governing medical healthcare body in Australia. So it's out of an old Medicare building essentially. Yeah, so if some of this would go to PIRs, some of them would go to read type door switches, that sort of thing. That wire's undergone a rather nasty little bit of electrolysis or something. I wonder if there's still DC in here. There's a battery floating around in here. That's a tamper switch if you dismount it from the wall. There's definitely a sealed lead acid battery in here. <laughs> I bet you it ain't any good, but yeah. Oh well. I guess I better open it up. Yeah, checking operating instructions, entering zones, switching to night mode, 24 hour mode, that sort of thing. What model is it? Didn't see what model that is. It must be on the inside. So either it yeah, it'd be security because it's all coded. It's not just fire alarm. Um, it could be reintegrated into the fire alarm system, but generally uh, it's an alarm panel. These old cabinets here that I made uh, into tool cabinets used to be fire alarm panels. I even kept the uh, little switches on them. These had very few boards left in them and the control transformer and everything, but they were all... Uh, Honeywell fire alarm cabinets. Still got, I put that back on there. But yeah, put new glass in them from old photocopiers. So anyway, let's strip this thing down and get it out of here. I've got way too many things to autopsy, but there should be quite a few coming up very soon. Hmm, let's see how this goes. Panasonic lead acid battery. Yeah, they haven't seen better days. It's only 6.5 amp hour. Yeah, it looks the same size as a 7. I imagine that's what they replace them all with now. Oh, go outside. Another door stop. Alright, well. switches, one on the front for the door, one for the uh, main cabinet. Looks like it's a 2N3055. I know what that is. Um, shit. How many times have I seen that before? Power switching transistor. Pretty sure. Seen 2N3055 come up in a million different devices. I should know it, but I don't. Okay, so what have we got in here? There's a little expansion card just floating around in the housing. Essentially, all I've got to do is take all this out. It's made by Neff Security Products. 
I don't think I think the only thing Honeywell is the box. <laughs> this thing's made by a completely different company. Yeah, there's the tamper switches. Oh god, what a dinosaur. Sensitivity, delay, reset, sounding. Yeah, this is PIR sensors. That's recharge battery wires. Zone one, two, three, four, five. Alarm outputs. After oh, the siren sounder. Day, night, evening. Yeah, that'll all go to a wall panel, a little keypad. That's the one thing that's missing. Zero volt test point. 18 to 220 volts AC. No, sorry, 18 to 22 volts AC. So to rectify it up to 24. Which is odd because it's only got a 12 volt battery in it, but... Yeah, where does that go to? Yeah. That would have been a power pack wall adapter. Yeah, an old power supply. Oh, I guess I better get this thing off the front panel before we can see much more. It looks like a, uh, it's a an extruded aluminum housing, kind of like a amplifier, car amplifier. It's all one piece. All these boards slot in. Where is it? No, oh, it's two pieces. It's just got a front panel on it. Okay, well, I got the top off it. That end of the ribbon wasn't connected to anything. And that end there was hanging on by one little piece of wire, so it's obviously been torn up from inside here. Uh, don't know how long that's been floating around in the bottom of the box. It's supposed to mount on there. So, yeah, it's got digit of code, and you obviously put jumper between these uh, pins. So that must be for setting the uh, deactivation code. Yeah, digit 1 to 9, 4 and 1 for the pins, but I'm guessing that also corresponds to the keypad code. So that's um, activation. Yeah, keypad seal inputs, reset, entry warning, speaker, battery positive, day alarm. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, that's definitely a power transistor. I just had a quick look online. It's just a silicon NPN power transistor. Uh, get rid of that cardboard. Might even be worth clipping some of these LEDs out. Not that I really use LEDs much anymore. Use very tight fuse. Main cap, because this is on the we've got mains or power input, AC or DC, key switch actually uh, yeah it switches switches input power on the front there. It's not a lot else. Um, a few different ICs. Nothing really stands out though. I'm guessing it's all to do with PIR drive and basic logic, I guess. Something there, CD4071 BCN. No, they're all national semiconductor. CD4002 BCM. Yeah, lots of stuff by national. F on that one, probably maybe Fairchild. 4001 BPC, there's two of those. 4002, oh sorry, CD4002 BCN by National. Yeah, it looks just like National and Fairchild Semiconductor. There's some very basic chips. I imagine those will be voltage regs coming off the power supply side. DC cap, 35 volt, 3300 microfarad. Some decent Alma caps in there. They're probably all still good. 80s caps like that are generally last unless they're unduly heated and cooled quickly. Uh, high temperature work usually kills them, but in something like this they rarely go bad. Anyway, that's about it. I might keep that power transistor. 
cap. What kind of resistor is that? It's a 2R2, 2K, 2. Yeah. Is it 2R2K 350? I'll put the meter across it. It's like a 5 watt resistor or something. Yeah, and they're security products. Definitely not Honeywell, the only Honeywell bit's the badge on the front of it. <laughs> oh well, I'll pillage that board for a few parts and the rest can go in the scrap bin. It's not much else use. I want to get rid of, I want to clear up some space so I'm not even going to keep the cabinet. Uh, yeah, we'll move on to something different. Thanks for watching.